What's up everybody, welcome to another video and I hope you're ready to flex those brain muscles. In this video we're going to do another example of proving that a relation is in fact a equivalence relation. So if you're brand new to equivalence relations, I'll link a video above that's a good introduction, as well as another example I've already done, both of those will pop up above. But let's get some more practice with this. So we're defining a relation on the set of integers by x is related to y if and only if x minus y is a multiple of 3. We want to prove that this relation is an equivalence relation. So that means that this relation is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So let's start with reflexive. When I think of reflexive, I think of reflection. That's how I remember the definition. So what it means to be reflexive is that for every single element in the set that the relation is defined on, right? So for every single integer, that integer is related to itself. So that's sort of that reflection, right? A is related to A for every A in the set of integers. So A is related to A for every A in the set of integers. So what do we do? How do we prove this? Well, we let there be some A in the set of integers, right? So that it's arbitrary. So here's the proof. Let A be some arbitrary integer. And then we want to show that this integer is related to itself in this relation, right? So what that means in this case, with this particular relation, is that we want to show that a minus a is a multiple of 3. So let's write that out here. Here's what we want to show. We want to show that a minus a is a multiple of 3. And what does it mean to be a multiple of 3? How do we write that formally? Well, that means we want to show that a minus a can be written as three times some integer. That's what it means to be a multiple of three, right? Nine is a multiple of three because three times three is nine, okay? So we want to show that a minus a is a multiple of three. In other words, we want to show that a minus a equals three times k, where k is some integer, okay? So how can we show this? Well, we know that for any integer a, a minus a is zero. So let's see if we can use this. And I think this proof is actually going to be pretty short and pretty easy once we see how this works. So if a minus a is zero, so let's continue our proof. Let a be an integer. Since this proof actually might just be one line. Since a minus a equals zero, which is what? Three times zero. And zero is an integer, right? So this literally proves what we wanted, which is that a minus a equals three times an integer right? So since a minus a equals zero, which is three times an integer, then what does that mean? a is related to a. And a was chosen arbitrarily as an arbitrary integer. Thus, or therefore, in conclusion, whatever you want to say, since a is related to a, and that's true for every a in the set of integers, the relation is reflexive. Thus, r is reflexive. So pretty quick and easy, but let's see if the same is true for symmetric. So symmetric is a little bit different. Instead of proving something is true for every element in the set that the relation is defined on, we're just proving this conditional statement. We're only concerned with cases where A is related to B, right? So again, symmetric is that if A is related to B, then B is related to A. That's where that symmetry comes into play, right? So we're trying to prove this. How exactly do we do that? Well, this is a conditional statement. We always assume the if statement is true and then try to show that the then statement is true. So we're going to assume that A is related to B. So suppose A is related to B. And what exactly does that mean? Well, that means that A minus B is a multiple of three. So then a minus b, and I'll just go straight to the formal definition, which is a minus b equals 3k, where k is some integer. That's what it means to be a multiple of 3, right? So we've assumed the if statement. We want to show the then statement, which is that b is related to a. So let's make a note of that. We want to show that b is related to a. In other words, that b minus a is a multiple of three. So three times L, or L is some integer, right? So we wanna show that B minus A is a multiple of three, so B minus A equals three times some integer. So how can we use our assumption, the fact that 
A is related to B. In other words, A minus B equals three times an integer. How can we use this to show this? Let's think about it. What is the relationship between A minus B and B minus A? Well, B minus A equals A minus B times negative one. If we multiply A minus B by negative one, we get negative A plus B, which is the same thing as B minus A. So maybe we can use that. So let's see if we can use that. Since, so since A minus B equals 3K, well, we can multiply both sides by negative one. So since this is true, then negative A minus B must equal negative 3K. And negative A minus B is the same thing as B minus A. And how should we rewrite this? Well, I'm going to rewrite this as 3 times negative K. And I'm only doing that to make it even more clear that what we've just done is written B minus A as a multiple of 3, as 3 times some integer, right? So based on our assumption that A minus B equals 3 times an integer, multiply both sides of that by negative 1. This must also be true, which is the same thing as B minus A equals 3 times negative K. Since K is an integer, negative K is an integer, so what we've just shown is that b minus a is 3 times an integer, which is what it means to be a multiple of 3. So b minus a must be a multiple of 3, and that's what we've just shown here. So therefore, thus, in conclusion, whatever you want to say, b minus a is a multiple of 3, so b is related to a, and the relation is symmetric. So b is related to a, and r is symmetric. So let's see if we can show transitivity and finish this proof off. So remember, transitive means that if A is related to B and B is related to C, then A is related to C. So this is similar to symmetric in the sense that it's an if-then statement. It's a conditional statement. So we prove this property the same way. We assume that the if part of the statement is true and try to show that that implies that the then part of the statement is true. So let's suppose... A is related to B, so that's our assumption. Suppose A is related to B and B is related to C. So what exactly does this mean? Well, that means that A minus B is a multiple of three and B minus C is a multiple of three, right? So, or I'll say then A minus B equals three K where k is some integer, that's what it means to be a multiple of three, and b minus c equals three, let's use l, where l is some integer, right? So a minus b is three times an integer, b minus c is three times an integer, that's what it means for, to be a multiple of three. So let's see, we've used our assumption what do we need to show? Let's write out what we need to show and figure out how we can get there. So we want to show, WTS, want to show that A is related to C. And what that means, right? In other words, what we want to show is that A minus C is a multiple of three. A minus C equals, let's see, K, L, I can use M, three times M, where M is an integer, right? We want to show it's a multiple of three. How can we do this? How can we use our assumption to show that A minus C is a multiple of three? Well, let's see, we have an A here, we have a minus B, we have a plus B, we have a minus C. It actually looks like if we add A minus B plus B minus C, we get A minus C. Let's see if we can use that, okay? So since so let's write, since A minus B equals 3K and B minus C equals 3L, we can add these two, A minus B plus B minus C equals what? 3K plus 3L, right? 3K plus 3L. So we've added both the left-hand sides of these equations and added both the right-hand sides. This is true. Based on this assumption, this must be true. 
And these actually cancel the minus B and the plus B. And what we're left with is A minus C, which is part of what we want. Well, what we want to show is that A minus C can be written as three times an integer, which in this case it can. If we factor out a three, factor out a three, then what we have is three times K plus L. That's what we've shown that A minus C is equal to. K is an integer. L is an integer. That means that K plus L must be an integer. So this is three times an integer, which is equal to a minus c, exactly what we want to show. Thus, a is related to c, which is what we want to show. Therefore, the relation is transitive. Okay, so write out that conclusion statement. And all three of those parts, reflexive, symmetric, transitive, make up the entire proof that r is an equivalence relation. So hopefully that made sense. Hopefully this helps. We may do one more example. We're going to move on to talking about equivalence classes and functions, injective, surjective, that kind of stuff soon. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. But most importantly, keep flexing those brain muscles, and I'll see you all later.